DLR writer in residence and I'm very privileged to have PJ Lynch here with us today. PJ Lynch is the laureate in Oak, the children's laureate. And PJ is going to talk about two of his, of his favourite silent books. So PJ, which ones have you chosen today? Well, Sarah, I've chosen The Arrival by Sean Tan, which is just a, an awesome book that came out a few years ago. Mm -hmm. And Sean Tan is an Australian um, uh, illustrator writer. And it's just a wonderful, surreal book. It's about emigration. Uh, it's about a, a man who goes, travels by himself. He's split up from his family. And he travels to a place that looks a bit like New York, mm -hmm. maybe 100 years ago. But it's not, because everything's kind of strange in this world. And mm. it's, it's a very complex story, but he tells it through, just through pictures alone. And it's amazing. I think when we talk about um, silent books, I suppose you think about more simple kind of books. Mm. But this one is a really sophisticated book, probably for older readers. But uh, the other book that I've chosen, because you've kindly let me cho choose two, mm -hmm. uh, is The Snowman, mm. which is Beautiful book. written and illustrated by... Raymond Briggs and Raymond Briggs happened to be one of my tutors when I was at college at Brighton and just flicking through uh, through the book you can see there's oh, yeah. Brighton and Brighton Pier and Bring there's you PJ there's me <laughs> <laughs> no I'm joking it bring, brings back a lot of fond memories to see uh, uh, Briggs's version of uh, of Brighton from 30 40 years ago but this is um it's a story for younger children and it's beautifully told and we all know it from the, the movie version yeah. that was made, uh, which uh, was made by a lovely man called Jimmy Murakami actually. And, ah, uh, who lived very near here. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Irish, isn't yeah, he? I used to draw with Jimmy, so I've, I've, ah. I've lots of connections with this book. How lovely. And when, when, when I knew Raymond Briggs, he was just in the process of making the movie and he showed us a rough cut of the movie, which didn't have any of that amazing music, mm. but we could see that it was going to be a really special Christmassy story. And everything in the story, almost everything that's in the movie is in here in the text. And it's as if Raymond Briggs had done this as a storyboard for the filmmakers. Uh, he tells the story through gestures, through facial expressions, and just through really well chosen moments. Mm. And it's just a marvelous piece of work a really influential book. Mm. Thank you very much, PJ. Two amazing silent books.